Yeah, by the way, E Lunacy, that's two separate sponsors, for those who do not know. It's not E E Lunacy, one sponsor. I hear people talking at my back. Did someone say my name? No. I swear I heard someone say Sir Dancer. No one said your name. I'm paranoid. <laughs> so, you versus Gabe as IT guys, right? Oh uh, no, Gabe like can out, can out IT me any fucking day of the week. I'm just like, like, I know what to do, but like, he's like a fucking guy. Yeah, dude, he invented the program he used to keep score. He's so pro like that. We always be talking smack behind your back. What? We're always talking smack behind your back. Behind my back? Yeah. Why? What do I fuck? I'm the second best one. <laughs> I'm sorry. The second best one. Why are you here? Kirby! Like, not Azzy. No, not Azzy talking shit behind your back. Yeah, no, you and Gabe and I'm like, I'm the second best. What the fuck? <laughs> it's like, uh, Muhammad's like, no, boy, I can fix this. And then Gabe's just like, I can fix it for you. Yeah, like, no, no, my next, I need to do this. And he's like, ready? <laughs> Alright, so Ian destroying this Kirby. Gabe is so good at IT. It makes me jealous as an IT major. Chat demands a bracket. Loon. <laughs> you misspelled Lunacy. You misspelled Lunacy. Yeah, I didn't notice that too. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. First match on Fountain, and that's a predicting commander because he doesn't want to get wrecked. Yay. Uh, down smash, um, of course, when Sheik down smash, or not, I'm so bad at mixing characters, so, when Peach down smashes on platform, of course, most people know that it leads to big percent of you jump into it. Ian is too smart to fall for that, though, so Apollo probably needs to adapt to not going for the obvious, like, punishable down smash, like, high risk, high reward option. A lot of people get effed up by that B. Because it looks so punishable. And it probably is. Like, it's like my back air will easily punish that. Ooh, that was a slick wave land off stage back air. Ian. Oh. Apollo messing up his free recovery, unfortunately. And this matchup should be pretty terrible for Gander, but Ian is doing a great job right now. Oh, that was an interesting up there. Uh, most pieces would probably have opted out for an air in that situation, or maybe not even going for Gander because they might not be confident they could hit him. But Apollo going hard. Maybe he kind of has to. He's at such a deficit right now. Ian using Gander's superior range, kind of like the Marth. I think Apollo might need to be a bit more ground based. Um, I don't know that for sure, but I kind of remember matches where Amarla would grow up as Peach would grow up against Gendrifts, and he definitely seemed not to be in the air as much because it's kind of comp it's kind of compromised. Wow! Sick. Alright, great 3 stock from Ian. Anyways, as I was saying, he's going up against the air, against uh, Gendorf, isn't, I don't think, the smartest move. Because it seems like Gendorf can really exploit his superior range in that situation. 
I don't know what Peach should do, but it, I don't think it's going aerial. And why Peach? Good question. Why not Sheik? Um, Apollo is a Peach main and a Sheik secondary, so maybe Sister is more comfortable with Peach. Who knows? And Ian's is punishing any attempts Apollo is making at trying to come in. Up till interesting intercept. Wano McDonald scares kids. Uh, that's a pretty sick name, bro. I approve. Whoa! Whoa, what? I thought he air dodged. That was an interesting option to raise his height. And reading Ian trying to come down with like maybe a spike or a meteor over there, I mean. I think Paula needs to be a bit more tighter with his punches. Because he just kind of looks like he has a punish, but he just kind of gets punished himself. The casually dashing back and forth. No falcons here? Wow, I... Um, you're right, there are very few falcons here. The only notable falcon is up-and-coming g Zero d but Gatsu, Rizro, and Gravy are all missing from attendance. Alright, both players falling each other out, but Ian... Ian goes for unconventional options quite a lot. I don't have an opinion if you're asking me one on McDonald's because I'm not knowledgeable of this game enough. But I would say Peach sure hypothetically win. But you need to play it right, definitely. You can't let Gendorf exploit his range against you. Solid jab for their combo. The tennis racket. <laughs> Alright. Even ish game? That dash attack by Apollo is kind of. So still a pretty even game here. Uh, okay, yeah, that side B just gets intercepted by anything. Someone could sneeze from like Mexico, and that would intercept Ganon and Captain Park in side B. Uh, going for a hard edge guard, kind of sloppy though. Does it a bit too early, and probably sort of just went for an error like that. All right, so completely tied game. But Apollo needs to take the stock if he wants to stay in this tournament. Alright. Ian kind of going in right now. Uh, I don't know what that fear was all about. Uh, I don't know, bro. I don't like Apollo going... Like, so high. It kind of just lets Ian... Like... You like up air him and whatnot. Okay. Ian probably meant to down throw like that, so he can mm, not crate. But another one of those should definitely wrap this match up. Good, for, uh, good to Apollo for staying in his shield, but that should be game. <laughs> Ha ha ha!
<laughs> Cannon looks like he has Ebola. <laughs> um, Nintendo is secretly.